Right, hello. Uh, something slightly different today. I've got a, uh, I've got a guitar on the um, jig over there. It's got a bit frets levelled, um, and there's a few ways we level frets. We can use a radius block, which is radius uh, to the radius of a deck, which I've got over there anyway. But my radius blocks are only they're only eight inch. I'd like some longer ones, but they're really really expensive. So what we do in a situation like this, we want to get the frets all level all across the length. We use steel beam which I got caught, I bought this special, I got this gr specially grand so it's absolutely perfectly flat and I'm going to show you how we make a sanding beam now you see on here I've got a layer a masking tape we do that for a reason, what we do is we don't need to use double sided sticky tape on here or, or sanding paper on here, we don't use a double sided, double sided stuff because it's so hard to get off it leaves residue, you never get flat what we, I do is some masking tape, we run that across the length, and what we do is then we glue, super glue, put a beam of super glue down there, and we cut some strips, sandpaper to the thickness, and we glue that onto the beam. And when it comes to changing the grit, like this is 800, this is 400 grit, and there's 400 one, uh, 400 one side, 800 the other, so we've got a rough and a smooth. And if we ever want to change that, all we do is we peel off the masking tape from the end, peel it off, and we start afresh. So I'm going to show you basically how I do this. Uh, I'm going to make a beam. So I'm going to move the camera. As you can see, I've already done this side. The steel itself is absolutely ground flat. I think I paid 18 quid for that, which is bloody expensive. But how much would a tool cost? So I'm going to just... Do it here and show you how we go on. So what we do is masking tape, we'll go over the edge, tuck under, over, level it off, that's not perfectly straight, let's go again. Inch wide tape. There you go, we've got perfectly flat. Cut off the end, fold over, tuck under. Job done. Now it's a matter of get some super glue on there. Now you've got to be careful with super glue because it hurts your bloody eyes, fumes. So, get some crappy old super glue. Four pots of this for a quid at Pound Shop. I'm going to put some gloves on. Because the super glue was everywhere, but where you want it normally, I hate the stuff. I hate using it, so I'd never use it again, but I have to use it for this. If you've got a, something to spread the glue with, even better. I actually have. And this toolbox down here. Which I'm going to use. We're going to put super glue, put a bead of super glue all the way down there. That's this stuff. So I've got super glue all over everywhere on that. Come off it goes over the edge. That's no difference at all. I'll do a thin one first, the 800. And all we do is we bang that down there and firm it down. And again with this piece, match it up. There you go, you've got a sanding beam. Oh, the edges are not stuck down there, so I'll do, I'll do that bit again.
There you go, sanded beam one side done. Grip side, the coarse side. There you go, we've got a double sided sanding beam there. There you go, what that tech took me about. Five minutes to that, I've got a perfectly level sanding beam now to do. I've got the 800 grit that side for finishing off. I've got the 400 grit that side. It's all glued on, it's not going to go anywhere. I can take that over to the guitar, get that over the neck. Ooh, sanding beam. <laughs> 